Hello everybody and welcome to a night update of Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport. Today we have a fun update here. Uh, we have three aircraft on here, which is, uh, and by the way, spoiler alert, the last one in, uh, is not in a Velo. So it is a unusual aircraft here. So we'll get started. We'll knock out the two usual suspects here. Uh, beginning with this American Eagle E-145 here offered by Envoy Air. Uh, just arrived in from Chicago O'Hare, we'll be heading into its gate, gate 2 over there. And uh, this one, like I said, arrived in from Chicago O'Hare, at least overnight, and uh, we'll be on the turn back out there. Oh, but the time frame for this update is uh, around 9.45 p.m. on Saturday, December 10th. So uh, this one continuing strong for American Airlines, uh, although, uh, as you may know, the American Eagle E-145s will be retired by the end, or not by the end of the year, but like some point next year, I think, is when they're uh, is when they're going to be retired. So these are on their way out, unfortunately, and uh, they'll be replaced with CRJ 200s by Air Wisconsin, which is not the ideal replacement in my opinion, but uh, what are you going to do? It's already set in stone, so that is what's going to be flying here, at least according to MSR TNA production, so I'm using that as a source here. Um, but uh, thanks to MSR TNA for giving me up to date on uh, all the news and stuff that's going on here at Kalamazoo. Really appreciate that. So uh, yeah, this one coming in from Chicago here and will in the future be on a CRJ 200 probably. Speaking of CRJ 200s, here is the Delta Connection CRJ 200. Uh, this is operated by Endeavor. Uh, this one came in from Detroit Metro and uh, just parked here. Uh, getting the bags loaded off and the people are deporting after arriving in from Detroit. Uh, this one will be uh, also staying around and we'll be heading back out there in the morning. That's pretty typical for these two, the American Eagle U-145 and the Delta Connection CRJ-200. These two have been uh, staples at, at these airport updates ever since the beginning of the channel and my first Kalamazoo airport update, my second airport update ever on the channel. Uh, these are also the baggage carts that will be supplying the American Eagle. I can go into much more detail here about uh, all the action going on here at the airport in these Kalamazoo airport updates just because they're not as long. So I can go over where each individual piece of GSE is going. So gate one is of course empty because United hasn't been here in like three years, two, year, two or three years. And gate four is also used by Delta, but uh, they're empty right now. Gate 5, however, is being used, and definitely not by Dragon Air, as they are no longer in existence. But this is my common use A320. I use this whenever I need an A320, and I don't have a proper model for it. So this one, in this case, is filling in for a Global X A320. I have uh, used this aircraft in substitution of a Global X A320 before. And here it is once again. So uh, the actual aircraft is in the blue Global X livery. Uh... So uh, that's really cool here, a very unique appearance here at Kalamazoo. I don't know if they would actually use Gate 5 or not uh, for that flight, but uh, that's where I have it here. I'm assuming it's a sports charter, uh, or just a charter in general. It's definitely a, a charter of some sort, as that's what Global X does. So uh, this one came in from Yuma, uh, which I believe is in Arizona, and it'll be continuing on to uh, Grand Rapids. So, very interesting uh, here, not not what I expected, and uh, very cool route, uh, very cool to see an unusual aircraft here, uh, flying on this charter here, Global X, of course, um, a very cool airline, uh, and, you know, it's just unusual to see here, and I, I was glad that I checked on Flight Radar so I can get this substitution in here for the Global X A320. So gate five is kind of becoming the uh, gate, which I guess charters park at, also a Velo parks there. Now what will be really interesting is uh, when there's a charter and a Velo is parking there, I wonder where they'll park because all the other gates are really just used for RJs. So gate five is big enough. I assume that gate one might be big enough to fit, and you know that one's not being used by any other airline, so they would probably park the charters there or at some area outside of the terminal, I don't know. I assume this is where they, the Global X820 parked. But yeah, that'll do it for this update here of Kalamazoo, so thank you all for checking it out once again. A retro Kalamazoo airport update will be out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, 
Good night. Auf Wiedersehen.